What age is it safe to start TRT or what age can you start TRT? We're going to answer that question after this, so keep watching. Right, we're back with the question, at what age should I start TRT? Sam, what age should we start TRT on? Um, so it's really unique to the situation and this is something that your situation is going to have to be looked at by a specialist. Really, uh, if you're classifying testosterone treatment as just TRT, um, there are incidences when developing um, you know, adolescence and it's delayed. Endocrinologists on the NHS, you hear of it, and other specialists can actually administer testosterone, um, strangely, and then stop it. And then we've actually had some guys yes, in, in, in adulthood with, with lower testosterone because it sort of suppressed them. But uh, it, 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 that I wouldn't, you know, not really classify as replacement therapy. So I think once you are an adult, um, I would say you can look at blood testing whenever, but really once you get into adulthood, there's no harm in keeping an eye on your hormones if you're already aware of, of this area of health. Yeah. But, but TRT is going to be you approach a doctor with symptoms and li the likelihood is they're going to do everything within their power to increase your testosterone whilst maintaining your own axis being switched on, yeah. right? So those things generally are always always considered as part of, is this something I can give? Can I boost this person's uh, levels? Can I switch, try and boost their system so it, it, it actually switches back on? Um, can I increase their levels through boosting if it's safe uh, to do so? Um, and then it's going to be a consideration of, you know, TRT, is this uh, suitable? Things like fertility and, and um, you know, the, the fact that if you need to maintain these levels, you have to be on it for as long as you want to maintain them, um, that y you would need to make that decision with the doctor i'd say so Absolutely. i know that was super vague but really there isn't an age i'd say no i think it's important and i and i was reading a couple of articles about this in regards to uh, delayed puberty what they thought was delayed puberty is actually could actually be hypogonadism with teenagers so theoretically really they should start screening uh during the adolescent years to, to not just determine if it's delayed puberty, but if you actually have hypogonadism. I mean, again, due to environmental factors, even going back to when you're in the womb, you, there may be inadequate HPTA or damage to, test, to the testes from these other environmental factors. We just don't know. But obviously you would see more specialist treatment through a pediatrician uh, or a, mm. pedi a pediatric endocrinologist, uh, potentially for that age range. I know that um, most TRT clinics are only treating adults, but mm. it doesn't hurt if you're at a younger age to get a blood test and, and potentially seek treatment um, you know, through the NHS. We've had a couple of chaps who, you know, have come to us later in life, but have had testicular injuries in like mid-teens, you know, pretty severe, you know, torsions, where it twists the testicle, which makes me cringe. Um, things like that, even mumps, where they have had swollen testicles. And then their symptoms started shortly after that. And then their whole, you know, later adolescent years and, and teenage years and, and then into adulthood up until this point, you know, late 20s, early 30s, even some a bit later, ha have had those symptoms that whole time. So I think, like Mike said, if you have those symptoms or you know someone at a young age, then if you're in that sort of bracket of not being an adult, then you would want to seek, um, you know, uh, trying to get help with a, a, a paediatrician. Yeah, along with your parents helping you because it should be recognized. You set yeah. you up for life. If you can catch it early and either do things to both preserve your fertility and your testosterone output, then you'll have a much better time. It'll set you up for later in life and into early adulthood. And so Blood testing, isn't it? Like often the NHS will rarely test um, teenagers you know, guys who haven't reached adulthood yet, but you know, obviously there are some private options, you know, obviously we're one of them, but there's, there's lots of blood testing availability now that you can just get a panel um, and actually see what's going on with all your hormones and other things that might influence it. So if you know someone in that situation, that, that's an option. And then you can actually use that when you go to a GP on the NHS and try your best to try and seek help that way.
I suppose what's the old, the, um, on the other end of the spectrum, how old uh, is there an age that's too old to be, yeah. on, to be on TRT? And not that it's TRT, but we can look at Dr. George's nan. She's, what, 106, and she's been going strong on the, uh, on the Nanderlone, which is, in some cases, a form of TRT. Yeah, she fractured a hip. And yeah. in some, I mean, lots of other countries, it's still used um, for increasing bone density and healing. Osteoporosis yeah. and, and, and whatnot. But, I mean, the, yeah, the age thing of how old can you be, uh, again, every situation, every case by the doctor needs to be looked at, medical history, screening. Other comorbidities in yeah. more complicated cases would have to be screened by the doctor. And sometimes if you're older, slightly different approaches might be taken to a starting, something like a hormone therapy, it might be more gradual, but it's definitely not ruled out with any sort of age bracket. It say. never hurts to get a blood test to see where you are. So yep. that's it, that yep. wraps up. At what, age, uh, is, uh, at what age can you start TRT? And uh, thanks again for watching another video with Balance My Hormones. And please press like if you do like the video. If you don't, press don't like. And do subscribe. It does help uh, us uh, prepare more content, keeps pushing us on. And we really, really appreciate you watching. So thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.